Hey, what's going on? Build is Krosama here. So I've already done like a bunch of you know different pulls. I think I did like 70 or 80 pulls. Uh, but I just wanted to kind of really answer the question: Is this banner worth your chips? Um, so I'm gonna take a look at uh, some of these you know parts. Not every single one. Uh, really, I can't. I can't look at the stats. Any well, I can take a look at the info over here. So uh, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna just start from the beginning. Um, gonna kind of skim over it a little bit quickly, uh, just because I do have a place to go in about an hour. So just taking a look, it's already maxed out for our convenience. Um, this is a really really good head. Uh, I think I think that shot attack is actually pretty damn good. You're obviously not getting any melee because the head is definitely more oriented towards uh, shot attack. But uh, the word tag is going to be mid range, raises shot attack and physical resistance uh, by 5%. Really good. Gundam type raises armor 5% and physical resistance 5% while active. That's pretty good too. I don't know how, how much of a beefcake this kit's going to be uh, in terms of its defense and its resistances. But as of right now, it is going to be probably more of a mid range shooter. That's kind of like my, my thought process. Um, offense, uh, offense up Y. Let's see, raise melee and shot attack of your squad by 39%. This is the first time use of, uh, in first time into the battle, seven seconds on the cooldown. Really good. 33 seconds after, if you bring this into arena, you may not last 33 seconds in cer certain battles, unless you're just kind of like waiting and doing a lot of striding and, uh, dashing. But honestly, I think, I think the head is a pretty damn good part, especially just for that ability alone. 39% on a shot and melee attack. Yeah, that's that's pretty good, especially when uh, three three versus three comes out in arenas. All right, next we're gonna have is the body. Body looking really good with some pretty solid armor, honestly. Uh, once again, mid range gun type, and let's take a look at the, uh, take a look at the trait. I'm talking faster than I can think. Uh, so with blade category equipped, strong melee power boosted 30%. Now strong melee is that final attack uh, whenever you hit your target. So boosted 30%. That's pretty good. That. This body would actually go great with the uh, the Titus. I would have to see what the Titus's trait is, uh, but I think this might actually be a little better. I think I think the Titus's um, body is something more in line with End Fighter. Uh, so honestly, this would be great because I would I would just convert to uh, Defender to be honest, or uh, or probably like Out Fighter. All right, now we're taking a look at the arms. Arms are looking pretty good. Eh, the melee the melee. Melee attack's not too... It, it's good. The melee attack is not a bad uh, attack. I'm seeing way more emphasis on these defenses. So this this mobile suit is really going to be more melee... Uh, not melee, but more defense oriented. So it's kind of interesting to see that. Uh, once again, high firepower... Oh, actually, high firepower is new. So yeah, raises melee and shot attack 5%. And then you get the mid-range, which also... Actually, I think it just switched, so... Word tag is pretty good. Um, outfighter job. I don't know why it's an outfighter, or I don't know why it would have the traits of an outfighter. I, I don't think that's good at all. Outfighter job. Uh, enemy shooting power reduced thirty percent. Yeah, this is definitely seeming more defense oriented. I don't think those arms are good at all. I think those arms are, at least those arms are not good for a completed X divider. I would definitely go with something else that has maybe a little bit more fire power, uh, firepower to it, but. This could be also something that is a little bit more diverse. It could be just kind of incorporating like the shot. It could be incorporating defense as well as melee. Uh, so now you got four desert on the legs. Man, that's horrible. I, I, I honestly just do not enjoy these t um, terrain kind of like oriented word tags. I don't think they're great at all. Uh, the armor's pretty good. You got really good melee defense, 1600 on that. Uh, outfighter job, EX skill, cooldown reduced 20%. So. If your pilot, uh, if your pilot license is out fighter, your EX skills are going to be reduced by 20%. The cooldown is going to be reduced by 20%. That is super damn good. I can honestly see myself running this MS with some OP, you know, uh, maybe like the Trans Am. You can, you know, run Trans Am uh, Raid from uh, the Exeus back. Uh, you can also run uh, the Mace from Barbados. You can run the beam rifle from the Gundam RX-78-2. Th that, that's a pretty damn good skill. Now here we are in the backpack. Backpack, you know, backpack's not too bad. Armor is actually really decent. I'm seeing a lot more armor on this. Uh, so you're going to have EX skill called Twist Buster. It's a beam melee. Uh, a negative power. D piercing. Hey, that's actually some pretty good, uh, good power. First time usage, 6 seconds on a cooldown, 21 seconds after. So just lift foes with your saber, then knock them back to earth. 
it's probably just gonna be a, a good animation that you cannot be hit out of uh, usually when you go into those animations you can't be flinched or anything so it just goes straight right into it but honestly I would still stick with uh, the news funnels or the Exeus Trans Am. Uh, but once again, it really depends on where you're trying to go with this mobile suit. Uh, but I, I can see this backpack doing pretty good. It's a B melee, so maybe with something that does increasing damage with either uh, melee, which it does in some cases, but also increases with beam attacks. Now we take a look at the beam machine gun. That's some pretty damn good shot attack. Um, got really good armor as well. It's going to be mid-range for desert. Outfighter job, once again, initial EX uh, skill charge boosted 20%. Dude, this would be super... Initial EX skill charge boosted 20%. Damn, that's good. I can throw that on... Um, I can throw that on Titus. Because I'm can. i I'm probably going to make Titus an outfighter. Or I can just make a whole new uh, attacking MS that's going to have outfighter and you can i mean I, I keep on thinking to the mace honestly like when you get that uh, that iron um what i forgot what that, it's like the iron mace and then maybe put the uh, the um the trans am raid i mean you're getting you're getting some good skills just powered up immediately uh so that way you can you can use them a little bit faster but yeah that is a damn good weapon and i really want to try and get that now and here we have is the X Dividers Shield. I, I was preaching a lot about this, and I think it's still really good. Uh, you got high firepower, mid range, uh, really good, really good word tags to be honest. Uh, it's gonna have great armor, great defenses. Now let's look at that skill. Boy, we have an A. We have an A on that piercing. <sighs> this is really this is super versatile. Now this is the problem though. Look at that cooldown. This is all maxed out. 60 seconds after. Uh, your first initial when your first initial is going to be 35 seconds 35 seconds into the battle this is maxed out mind you 35 seconds you have to wait for this thing to activate that's going to be a while now this is good for just like normal play and all that in arenas though it's a good move once you get it but base foes and beams uh from the sh uh, shields multi-barrel uh, beam cannon so all it does it just like shoots the beam it's like five separate beams i believe Shoots it in a straight row. That's it. Uh, goes pretty far. Does great piercing damage. It's still a good shield. I still would vouch for this shield. Probably more than most other shields. Except for some of the ones that have really good traits. So now we're looking at the Ale Strike. Man, shot attack. 2791. Fantastic. This is definitely not... This is not nowhere near oriented around um, any kind of like defenses. This looks like it's going to be straight up like long distance attacking. Uh, said mid-range, so it could be definitely a mid-range attacker. Uh, I'm not really going to go too much into the uh, the parts, because uh, I don't think people are really trying to go for uh, for the strike. So with speed attribute self, shooting crit rate boosted 30%. Jesus Christ. All right, so defenses, everything's looking really good. Kind of average. Dude, that is a great trait. Tr Damn, that is a great trait. That crit boosted 30%. Okay. With speed attribute self. Uh, special shot power boosted 30%. That's really good as well as that's really good as well. Uh, then we have the legs rapid thrust. So we've got an A minus on power, uh, D on piercing. Yeah, physical melee first time six seconds. That's pretty good. It's 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 probably not going to be an animation style. It's just going to be like you could probably get flinched out of it, or you could probably get hit. So I'm not too sure about that one. Strike Punisher B melee A plus piercing. C minus power. Wow. First time is going to be eight seconds. Slash at high speed to unleash multiple shock waves. I definitely want to see that. That looks like it's going to be pretty damn good. The grand slam. Some decent. That's some decent melee attack. Uh, Knight's nail. So A on piercing. It's a physical melee. A on pierce. Uh, D on power. Three seconds on cooldown. Jeez. Uh, jump high to bring your uh, blade down on the enemy's head. So I don't know how that may or may not be uh, avoidable. I don't, I'm not sure. Like it's probably gonna be an avoidable thing. Uh, let me. Things always freezing. And then it's gonna be his beam rifle. So that's some damn. That is some. That is some good. Good shot attack. Wow. Damn, that's a good shot attack. With speed attribute self, initial ex skill charge boost 20%. Once again. 
I mean, these are great traits. These are traits you're going to want. So if you're a speed attribute uh, MS, that is the rifle you absolutely need because you want to pull off these EX moves as soon as possible. Um, EX skill damage output boosted by 35. That's also good. So, um, But yeah, that's it. What are my thoughts on this banner? I think this banner is worth it. I think this is a better banner than the last time. Um, my humble opinion. I, I don't really care for the Ale Strike, but there's some weapons I do want to pick up from the Ale Strike. Now with the AI pilots, uh, we're going to take a look at both of them. So with this one, it's going to be with power attribute, 14% uh, percent chance to uh, survive a fatal blow. That is fantastic. That's what you're going to really need, especially in the arenas. You're if Just in case something happens, they probably pull out uh, last shooting on you. And you're like, hey man, hey, hey, hey pilot. I'm going to need that trait to activate. And you got that 14%. Hey, you might be able to survive it and go ahead and maybe maybe finish off your final blow. Uh, Pro Tag Federation, going to be its uh, word tags. That armor is really damn good as well. So this is definitely going to be a defense-oriented um, character. And next we're going to have is Fairchild. So her stats are eh, okay. Uh, she's going to have a goddamn terrain word tag. With speed attribute self, all damage taken reduced by 20. Eh, she's definitely going to be defense-oriented. Not my cup of tea, but she is going to be a supporter, so that's actually really interesting. And oh boy, he is actually going to be a defender. So he might actually be the best defender in the game, uh, the way I'm looking at him. His stats are really good, and with power attribute, 14% uh, percent chance of survival. Hey, that's what you're going to really want. Uh, but hey, that's it for me, guys. Definitely appreciate all of you for watching. Um, actually, I'll, I'll say this. This AI banner, I think it's worth to try and get um, Ko. Fairchild, not so much. She's meh. You're probably going to pick her up before you get him. So uh, I would honestly say use your chips. Try and get some of the X divider parts. Maybe try and get the uh, the beam rifle from the Ale Strike. And you could try it on the AI maybe a little bit later. But yeah, that, for the most part, I think it's it's okay. But definitely you want to get those parts banners. Uh, but that's it for me, guys. Definitely appreciate all of you, all you for watching. Cannot wait to get started on this event. Um, try and do some pulls a little bit later. And that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching, guys. See you later. Bye-bye.